How was the Peloton ride this morning? Oh, thank you for asking. Um, I don't want to brag, but check this out. Can I just let me uh, full screen uh, my, let me get a little closer to the camera here. You see, you see this right here? You see this, this vein? You see this vein right here? You know what that means? You know what it means when I've been off the bike for 35 minutes and you still see this kind of scalp vascularity? That means we had a PB. I am very warm. Vein is popping. This is, this is the least vascular it's been this morning. It was a PB. Heart rate check? I gotta say it's a little higher than, than typical. I'm not quite at resting yet. I would say I'm probably at like 90 right now, would be my guess. I did indeed shower. But I don't, it, I, this is like an age thing and a, and a body hair thing and a being a, a sweaty man just from an endro, endocrinological standpoint. I, the shower didn't take. That's exactly, the, it's the perfect way to describe it. I get off the bike. I just cool down for like five minutes. I jump in the shower. I scrub down. I put on a new shirt. And then within a, like 10 minutes, I have like a ring right around my stomach where it's just, it's wet and the shirt is like sticking to my belly button, but it is what it is. It's still, I, it's clean, I promise. It's all clean. Anyway, it was a good ride. I, you don't even have to ask, by the way, what, if, if you had to guess, what kind of 30 minute ride led me to, to the spiritual nourishment that allowed me to find deep within myself the means to PB? What do you think it was? What do you, it was not a 30 minute acid house ride. Loch Ness Monster's brother got it first try. It was a return to the 30 minute Alley Love, Alanis Morissette all for one ride. Insanely highly recommended. Starts with all I really want. You live, you learn. One hand in my pocket. You know, it's it's got all the classics. Jay, by the way, don't please don't speak to me about the reverse retros. We have our final Overwatch 2 sponsored segment. I played a little bit last night because I thought, you know what? We could add a little extra juice into the um, into the Overwatch segment. Maybe I could finally get ranked. I played three competitive games of support, lost every single one. And I'm getting tilted, man, because every single time that I lose, I'm as support, I'm losing my mind. I'm like, what? You have a healing orb on you 100% of the time, and the tank is just like, no, 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 no. You know, no, no. The five enemies are coming right down Main Street with the cart, and then our tank is like just hiding in a room to the side. And I'm like, for the love of God, just get in there. You've got orbs on you. And then at the end of the game, I'm, I have like foam coming out of my mouth. My skin has visible salt and brine on it. The, the water in my water bottle is brackish. And then everyone has the audacity to type good game, good game, nice try. Wow, you guys played really well. Nobody's even like insulting each other, even though that's what I want to do. It's crazy to me. Maybe today we'll get ranked though. All right, we're here, we're playing sap. Listen, I don't get political, okay? But I do want to ask, if, is anybody here watching from the United Kingdom? What's it like to have had more heads of state in the last 12 months than there have been American Idol winners in, life, in the lifetime of the show? Is this actually, this is like your ninth prime minister of the 2020s, right? And it's, we're not even three full years deep yet? Like, what's going on? The lettuce lasted longer. That was a good lettuce, though. I don't, normally, if you left a lettuce out of the fridge, I would not eat it after six days. But I don't know, maybe I'm just food poisoning pilled because I was, like, you know, almost killed by the salmonella and campylobacter. But anyway, camel's great this week. That is true. I forgot about the camel. Or as Sasha Baron Cohen would say, Camela! My, you will be my wife. My, my wife. Minus, minus two. People aren't, okay, we're not ready for Borat to come back yet. Noted, noted. This is like a little atypical, but it's an, I'm, I'm an atypical sort of guy. And you know, can I tell you something else? When society goes crazy, the crazy man thrives. Whoops. <laughs> Never mind. Not that the mosquito, an, another 2-2 mosquito would not have been the difference maker there, but still. Hey, Anel, how do you feel that America could probably take over Canada if they wanted to? Is this the last gasp of Pax Americana? Breathless machismo with uh, no actual passion behind it? Yes, we may be in silk slippers heading down a, a lacquered mahogany staircase, but if we wanted to, we could still give you a black eye. Okay, congratulations. Is that what you wanted? Oh, whoa, what a big tough guy. Isn't it weird to live in a country that uh, doesn't have a military as strong as the United States of America? No, not really. Like, you know, something like 96% of the world's population lives under that uh, 
mantle every single day. If anything, it's, it's uh, unnerving. But I think that you might take that as a compliment instead of uh, as the insult that I intended it as. 100% sir? How could, America, how could Americans live under a military that's not as strong as America's? What the hell are you talking about? Don't try to math explain me. When we're doing sporkle quizzes about probability and it's, you know, in a 52 card deck with no uh, reshuffles, how many jacks are you likely to pull on 17 pulls? Then, then I'll ask you in chat, okay? You gotta work on your, your foreign policy. Why are you trying to intimidate your allies? We're literally just like up here chilling. Not to say that we don't do wrong things ourselves, but we're just relaxing up here. Well, yeah, we're already in NATO state and have been, I don't even know for how long, but a long time is my guess. <laughs> like maybe like the tide for the longest or at least up there, I'd have to imagine. Can you explain how Canada became independent from the UK? So listen. <laughs> My understanding is that, um, we, it was like, it's like in the 1860s, we were like, can we? And then the United Kingdom government was like, we'd rather you didn't. And then probably like Sir John A. Macdonald was like, um, Hey, remember the American Revolution? And then I don't even know who was the leader of, of uh, the United Kingdom at the time, but he was probably like, uh, oh, yeah. You know what? How about we just like, um, it's like, you know how like uh, if people are in their 60s and they are married, rather than get a divorce, sometimes they just stop living together, but they don't change their Facebook status. It's kind of like that, right? They're like, Technically, Canada and the United Kingdom are still married. They live in separate houses. They, you know, have not had dinner with each other in 15 years. But, but they're like, at this point, until... For, for tax purposes, it makes sense. There's no reason to change it up until somebody starts, uh, you know, rocking the boat. That's right out of the damn history book. That's what I like to hear. What happened in 2008? Well, like... So the <laughs> You ever hear this movie called The Big Short? People, I'm a people person. Okay, so it, it, listen, okay? There's a lot of things happened in 2008. There was, a, there was a housing crisis that was caused by a, an over-availability of credit. So people started buying more house than they can afford. One of the things that allowed that to happen was adjustable rate mortgages, which allows you to qualify for a, a higher mortgage than it would otherwise be available if you took a 30-year fixed rate because of the fact that we thought the interest rates were going to like stay low forever then also so these companies then took the mortgages because they're like the american homeowner is like one of the most stable uh debt creating instruments that you could or debt paying instruments that you could possibly have in, in the entire global economy banks took those and they said hey we got like these great little tranches of uh, of mortgages that we can sell to other banks but then they were like you know what we can juice these returns a little bit who needs like a who needs like a four percent return return who needs a three percent return so they started generating three and a half four four and a half five just by adding some people with bad credit into the tranches then over time they got mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, i'm so addicted mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, look at that yield mm -hmm, another 50 basis points they started making them like shittier and shittier mortgages get added into it and then eventually ooh things are going bad and they start to unwind people start to miss their payments the mortgage-backed securities that they thought were AAA rated actually ended up being big piles of junk and then the banks were like we can't afford that these these are under collateralized mortgage-backed securities we no longer and then it was AIG and Lehman Brothers and and then you know it so that like that's kind of what happened I don't really remember and yeah and then like Jeremy Irons had to come in and uh and he was like um we don't care. All we do is eat cucumber sandwiches for lunch. And Kevin Spacey was like, what the hell? And then it was, a, it was like a whole thing. I, <sighs> Sorry, for, for a minute there, I lost myself. That's one of the best bits you've ever had. It's, this wasn't a bit. That was the first of our four once-in-a-lifetime recessions, okay? You wouldn't understand how messed up it is to be a millennial. Was there far before your time? It's a little bit before my, or maybe just out of my jurisdiction. I, I've talked about it a few times in the past, but welcome to the stream. It, we didn't have D.A.R.E. We had a program called Race Against Drugs. That was a weird fusion of motorsports and like anti-drug rhetoric. Once, for two years, we did Race Against Drugs. 
Both years, at the end of the Race Against Drugs module, we went to like, I can only describe it as like a convention. And half of the convention was like um, anti-drug stuff, like put on beer goggles and then like try to walk on a straight line and see how hard it is to do so. We keep in mind, we're like 12 when we're doing this, you know, uh, or like reaction tests and stuff like that. And then here's, it just by the way, in case you're on the street and somebody offers you like PCP, here's what PCP looks like. See, can you tell the difference? This is PCP, this is table salt. Can you tell the difference? No, exactly. And then the other half of it was like slot car racing. You would go to one segment and it would be like, don't smoke hash. And then a bell would go off and then you go to the next module and it would be like, all right, pick your lane. We're going to have a foot race. <laughs> and the, the other story I always tell about Race Against Drugs is that a cop came to our class and told a story about how PCP was so bad. They responded to a call where someone was on PCP and then they had to shoot the guy like, seven times in order to stop him from doing whatever he was doing. And it made it seem like PCP turned you into like James McAvoy from, uh, what's the movie I'm looking for here? From Split. It basically made it seem like it makes you bulletproof. Like it makes you into a superhero or a supervillain, I suppose. They told me the exact same story 10 years later. It's crazy, man. And then they turned it into a movie with Anya Taylor-Joy. This is not, it's not that bad. I thought it was not good, but it's not, no wait, it's horrible. No, wait, it's fine. It's completely fine. Me, when I look over at my pilot on the airplane and then see that my pilot is, ah, let me off, let me off. Ah, oh, never mind, I'm, I'm okay. Sorry. <laughs> hey, NL, have you tried Marvel Snaps? I honestly think in my heart of hearts, I think that my deck building days are over. I was talking about it in, um, in the, in the, cool streamers only discord because apollo was like trying to lie to me and tell me i would have a good time playing valorant which is like truly insane this is an absolutely insane take but i i told i and i said this to him with all honesty i said i think i'm too old to work with strangers i think i'm okay working with my friends i treat them with more respect than i used to i have more patience than i used to but honestly, when it comes to strangers, I, I can't. Not, not to say I would never like, do any more collaborations or anything, but like, what, it, my, what I'm really getting at is like in Overwatch, uh, as soon as somebody makes a mistake on my team, I wish only for evil to f befall them. I, I can't play online cooperative games with strangers anymore. As soon as they, and they, they're doing their best probably, but when they do something that I consider wrong, I wish only for them to suffer, quite frankly. It's just a game. That's such a weak mindset, by the way. And I think the same thing with like, with Marvel Snap, like it's, like life's too short to lose uh, in video games. <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like you really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock out all my work. I'm gonna do my chores. And then I'm going to log on to a video game and lose to somebody who has like way more free time and like motivation to win than me. I'm just going to feed them my dopamine for free. I'm not even going to make them work for it. Am I fucking stupid? That's a horrible use of my time. I'd rather just eat some toast. I'd rather sleep for an extra 30 minutes. You'd have to be an idiot to do that for like, you know, the next 30 years of my life or something like that. I know that the, the think about something like Marvel Snap, a bunch of like, 24 year olds that have uh, seven tabs open. Best uh, uh, Kang the Conqueror deck. When to snap? What's the best value? What's the power curve? How many infinity stones should I have in my Tempo Storm, Icy Veins, 17 different Twitch streams so I never have a single coherent thought pop into my head? No, man. No way. I don't have time for that shit. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not just, I'm not running a dopamine charity here. I'm not going to log on and just feed you wins. I'd rather just like watch the mole on Netflix or something like that. I'd rather just watch the damn mole. Be a dizzy skater like Elvis Stoico. How many of the stoic philosophers do you think you could beat in a fight? Uh, it's a trick question. You cannot beat a stoic in a fight because they've already lost in their own minds. No sticks nor stones can harm them spiritually in proportion to the damage they've already done to themselves.
What is Stoicism? Stoicism is, uh, is a, a school of classical Greek philosophy. Uh, and the, the basic central premise is, is uh, I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm not mad. I'm calmer than you are. Are you mad? I'm calm. Keanu Reeves, after reading Marcus Aurelius' Meditations, and also he's uh, Johnny No Fingers from Cyberpunk 2077, in, in Night City, you can be calm. <laughs> Just go ahead and say it. Just go ahead and give me the minus twos. Go, go ahead, all right? In Night City, you can be calm. In 2077, what makes you a criminal? Getting cock. My impression of the CEO of Lehman Brothers in 2007? Yeah, I don't really know how these swaps are gonna work out. My impression of the CEO of Lehman Brothers in 2008? Why are you doing this to me? I'm just a guy! Come on, Batman! Why are you doing Lorata, Ronnie? I'm just a guy! What are you talking? What are you talking about? The penguin? I'm just a guy. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> kind of lost it for a minute there. What the hell did I miss? Matt Reeves' 17-hour-long Batman movie called The Batman appears to be what you have missed. I don't get it. Please explain the joke. Um, in the movie The Batman, Colin Farrell is unrecognizable under pounds and pounds of uh, latex makeup. And he, uh, basically everything he says in the movie is, uh, What are you talking about? How could you do this to me? I'm the bad, I'm not the bad guy, I'm just a guy. Colin Farrell in The Killing of this, uh, A Killing of a Sacred Deer. Why are you cursing my family like this? I'm literally just a guy. Oh no. Okay, it's a one piece. Why are you turning me in? Why you want me to get married? I'm literally a lobster. I'm literally, hey, what are you doing to me, Olivia Coleman? I'm literally a lobster. I'm just a lobster. Felt the blood pressure go up on that one a little bit. What's the casino payout here? It's just an, a quick 86X. Poro watch. It's taking 5,000 up to about 400,000 here. Good bet, good bet. Not the real play of the game that the game chose, but the, the one that matters more. Chat saying I did a good job. Oh! oh you know, surviving. And how's Murphy? Doing much better. Now that you aren't feeding her scraps all the time. Are you kidding me? Listen, why would you push that away from me? Why would you do that? You're wasting your... You're not getting any heals. Just so you know, you're not getting any heals. For the rest of the game. I thought we were supposed to be on a, we were supposed to be a, a team. No, I already believed. Roadhog doesn't need heals. He has like meat in his pocket or something, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, go, another button <laughs> Okay, go, go, go. It didn't even touch the, the rim, much less the backboard. We're ulting because it's available as we speak. I'm healing my team with the old. I've been killed by a junk rat bomb on my old. That's okay. He, oh. I got killed by that. He knows exactly. He knows where to throw the grenades. How you guys doing over here? Not worried. I threw an orb down there for good reason, for good measure. Junk red. <laughs> Junk red. He doesn't even. He, does, he just doesn't even see me, man. He doesn't even see me. Guys, be careful. I see the tire. Oh, get shifted. How's he doing today, Kate? I've kind of, many people are saying I'm one of the finest Moiras they've ever seen. Watch this. More field research. Grand. Oh, so close. And I got a basket. True, true, true. Oh.
Oh, you kidding me, man. <laughs> Oh, we're guaranteed. This one's guaranteed. Play of the game? Lucio, play of the game, perhaps? No, I bet it's our Reinhardt on defense. We're unbelievable with it. We're, un we're unbelievable. I don't know what you want us to say. Probably the greatest round I've ever played in my entire life. That's a win. That's a win. Let's go. Are we insane? Are we unbelievable? Are we the best to ever do it? Are we putting default sprays on the ground? Time? What's the bronze five is the worst, right? L let me get bronze four. Let's be realistic. Let me get bronze four. Oh! <laughs> this one goes out to all the haters. Oh, <laughs> silver five. Kate, did you see that? I'm silver. I'm silver. I cannot believe my husband is uh, infamous silver. Silver five. Five. It's like five ranks above, Holy above bottom. Holy moly. I can't believe it. Five ranks above base level. You sure you're okay to play with the uh, unranked, <laughs> unranked newbie like me? Um, yeah, but you have to um play a tank, okay? I I still remember the guy that was in your chat that said I won all my seven games and I still got bronze five. <laughs> this game uh, makes no sense. And then everyone said, yeah, and it was gonna be bronze five. Do they even have like a lower tier? Maybe uh, he's gonna be lower than that. And then, hey, guess what is Silver 5? What can I say? Silver 5. Haters are eating their words now. I Look, I was gonna put Josh on blast, but then he said he was very proud of me. So instead, I'm going to put Chib on blast. You know, Chib got ranked at like bronze one. Wow. <laughs> and he's in his 20s. He's in his 20s. His brain is capable of actually processing the insane amount of information that comes through on the screen he has the bandwidth capable of being like oh i'm getting shot from uh one o'clock but somebody behind me needs a heal i'm just gonna bounce an orb off the side and go he's capable of doing that while listening to nightcore what's uh what's josh's i think he was bronze but honestly josh is my age so like i cut him some slack he's he's my age with a full-time job like and the you know and a, and a family and, and some pets the time for us to be pro gamers is gone except for me but that's i mean not everybody can be silver five you know i mean silver five i like the sound of that silver five that silver five can you believe it that must be like second best possible because silver is the second best medal in the olympics that's true good good tranquility team good tranquility you got to do what you got to do Two in the back? No worries. Watch this. I'm ulting them. Danyata really low. Another healer really low. Good stuff. Two in the back. Oh, I, I made D.Va waste their ult up there. This should be a good push. Oh, I thought I was going to die there. Kind of sick with it, right? Kind of sick with it. Kind of the best you've ever seen doing it. Ooh, look at those hit markers. Look at those hit markers. Look at those hit markers. Oh, look at those you. hit markers. Nobody can stop me. You, look at that silver plate. Oh, <laughs> crazy. He's popping off. I'm insane, man. We good. We Gucci. Kenji. Kenji. I just tried to reload my hands. Let's go. Behind us, healer. <laughs> I'm spraying, I'm spraying, man. My ult's almost charged. Stay on him. Oh, hello, kill. Genji. Hello, oh, he killed me. <laughs> he used his ult to kill me. I'm pinned. Mm. I love the Sogma. It's been known to happen. It's, it's Sigma, but then someone in my chat they typed it and they say Sogma, and now it's Sogma forever.
I refuse to finish the joke as I am keeping my content G-rated for the present moment. It, it's, it's just a typo. It's just a typo. That's the, that's the joke. You can see the veins on the side of my head starting to pop out as I, uh, as I try not to finish the joke. Is, oh, look, see, I told you, chat, the vascularity has gone down a little bit. I, I destroyed the turret. Come on in. Okay. I'm Take here alone. Bro, the tank is running. I'm here all alone. Please do something. <laughs> Literally at the point alone. The, the, I'm, I'm trying to, I don't know what to do. I'm just trying to keep you alive. <laughs> Squad. I'm ulting. I got one! I got one. I got their healer! Okay, we've, I, we've taken the point somehow. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! My husband! My husband! <laughs> I, let's go! Greatest! Greatest! <laughs> I'm actually about to pass everybody in DPS. <laughs> Scary thought. Ryan, what did I say? You just play Lucio in this vet and you spin. You just spin. You've been goaded at, at holding him off on the point. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, you should break it down! They've entered Molten Core face. Warm Liquid Goo face. Oh my god. I actually got nobody. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh. It doesn't matter. He used the ulti on me. Go in there. Please, Diva! Do something! He's just shooting outside of the freaking point! It's driving me crazy. It is driving me nuts. Oh my god. Literally, it's all us. Take some HP. You've, you've earned it. I'm ulting! Oh! <gasps> Are we pogging? Are we pogging? We... My ult was very anti-pog. Very minimal Save pog. Me. Is accomplished... ah. This is like the best game I've ever played in my life. This is the best game I've ever played in my life. What what happened? What happened to the what happened to the tank? What was the tank doing? Look at the damage, Kate, look at the damage! Look at the, oh my look God. At the damage and look at the healing! And look at our damage and look at the healing! <laughs> I, just, I was like watching my wife roller skate around the pillar in the center and watching our diva just standing on a staircase off to the side. I don't understand. You're, you got a big robot. Why don't, you just, why don't you just soak up some bullets? You've got a right click that invalidates any, uh, any damage that they're trying to output on you. Why don't, why don't you simply stand there and right click for a second? <laughs> It's driving me crazy. <laughs> oh man. Lucio's tanking. <laughs> Moira's DPS. Do you does nobody see how messed up this is? <laughs> Plus two? Plus two? Plus it's okay, two? we got we got Pikachu on our team. <laughs> Pikachu as Genji? <laughs> I don't know, I'm scared. That's also true. Here we go! Get ulted! Ah! It's okay, we did we did find it, we did find. Bad shift timing, bad shift timing again. Backline! Backlane! They're in trouble, you're in trouble, you're in trouble, Ooh. brother! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's bad. That's bad for you. That's bad for you. Let's go. Hi, Moira. Hi, Moira. Just an easy... Uh, Moira, go. just a question for you. Just a question for you, Moira. Why were you healing me when I was using my purple on you? Uh. <laughs> There's no overtime. Where's overtime? Why are we on overtime? That's what I... Yeah. Good game. Good game. That's good what game. I'm talking about. Good game. Good game. Good game. Nice. Whoa, Hanzo! It was the same. It's the same. May. It's the same May. I got so greedy and it was immediately rewarded. Get the May, get the May. 
I got the May. I helped get the May. What's the button to go third person and see yourself? The emo? Yeah. See? See and then emo? Wow, so that's what I look like. <laughs> A mech as flashy as yours will show up on every radar. You talk to my wife? That's just the way I like it. You talking to my wife? <laughs> what do you want? You want a little truth or you want a little justice? Which one do you want? Which one do you want? <laughs> no heals for you. They're like, why can't we have a tank like this? Why do we get a bare feet tank? Orb of Discord difference. Oh my god. Oh, Anna! Insane. I don't fear you! Insane. I don't Insane. fear you anymore! Insane! <laughs> I have the highest DPS. Dude, I made them oh, like rage quit. Oh, dude. I made them rage quit, dude. Oops. Oh. We're insane with it. Oops, oh I my god, she's crazy. Oops, then I do that. She's in. She's in. She's got nothing but confidence. Wow. Wow. Oh, <laughs> it's I over. Think we won. It's over. What was this? What is this? What are you what are you doing here? I think I won the game. You might have play of the game because it was on the point at the very end. It's a more significant play. That's oh, oh! oh that's me! Fuck at the camera, I'm with the TV! <laughs> look at this, look at this, she's like blah, blah, blah. then she's like, oh nerf this and then blah, 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 blah. Oh. <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> And I also got a kill of that, too. You know, so people don't understand what it's like to be in your 30s, you know? They think that competitive is where you go when you focus on the game, and casual is what you queue for when you're making, like, a sandwich in the kitchen. Oh, who cares if I'm, uh, if I'm asleep while I play the game? That, I, yeah, I was tired. That's why I queued casual, so I, could play a na so I could have a nap while I'm playing. Yeah, I went AFK. That's why I queued into a quick match. I would never AFK in, in competitive. That's ridiculous. Those people actually get to I me mean, so angry. There are some people like that. Well, I know you're like, oh, yeah, I just AFK. You probably go through it in League all the time because there's people oh, who yeah. spend like all day playing it. Then you get like one one game's worth of playtime every night. And they're like, hey, I'm just a silly little guy. I'm going to go mid and throw because I'm bored with the game but don't know what else to do. And you're like, could you please? This is my only... I only you have describe, 45 minutes for the whole night. You describe 80% of the league, league players. <laughs> I'm just a silly little guy. Hey, guys, just so you know, my name is I Never Buy Wards. Um, and I'm support. I'm never going to buy wards. It's going to be a video on my YouTube channel. Oh, my God. How do you know? Because the same it's thing like happened in... League. It happened in Rocket League all the time. I'd get, like, oh. time for three matches, and then somebody's name would be like, I only drive backwards, and I'm like, oh, here we go. I love Team B! What the heck is going on? Everything's red? I got a ult here. Oh, See, you later. See you later! See you later! Oh my god. We're insane with it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh man. The orb of the century? I'm giving her everything she's got, Captain. Ah! Oh! Oh, it was I'm worth it. I'm good, I'm good, worth. I'm good. I think we won, baby. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We won. Easy. <laughs> 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 he just 
dodge sideways when he charged? Mm. No, I was just, I was going insano mode. I don't even know how to describe what I was doing. Oh! 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 I don't believe it. Oh, 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 you're dead. Uh oh, you're dead. And then, uh, don't, oh, you're oh! off the edge. And then I hit you with the little healing juice at the end. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Mm. Is your daughter's favorite store? Oh yeah, Canadian Tire, 100%. Well, I don't know, she really likes the baby store too. Like any store that sells like uh, stuffed animals. She's really into that for sure, or books. But she really loves Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire is more like a museum for her. Like with, with all sorts of interactive exhibits. Staples, but I just quit from there, so I took them all with me. Honestly, most most based chatter just dropped. Also, I um, now that you don't work there, I, I guess I can say this. Staples, if you haven't been in one in a while, has to be one of like the least pleasant businesses to shop in on planet Earth. What about Best Buy? Honestly, I don't. Being in Best Buy, the only thing that's annoying, like I I, I took my daughter to Best Buy last weekend as well, and um, I was getting like harangued by the staff in the in the 4K TV section. We're like, hey, can we help you with something? No, it's okay. I'm just browsing. All right, well, if you're interested in buying a, a 55 pound TV and popping it in your stroller and walking it home, then uh, you just let us know. Like, read the room a little bit. I'm, I'm just killing time in here. If I need to buy a replacement air fryer, you know where I'm going. I'm going to Amazon, and then if it says that shipping's gonna be one week, I'm going to Best Buy, okay? But I don't mind being in Best Buy. I think that's like an, that's an acceptable store. As a European, Canadian tire sells more than just tires. Yeah, it's like how Eau Bon Pan sells more than just uh, Bon Pan. You, sometimes they even sell uh, Mal Pan, you know? Like some bread that isn't even that good. My French accent's not so good, but I, I promise you my heart was in the right place. Oh, Pan, like the bread. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my Eau Bon Pan morning glory bun anyway what was i talking about oh yeah worst shopping experience i don't know if it's the same in the u.s but in canada every staples feels like it's like a warehouse being run by two people like it's i, I it feels like a zombie company that's just me saying i don't know that to be certain office depot is the same honestly i didn't know office depot still existed i thought office depot like merged with staples at some point or am I thinking of Office Max? I don't know if it's true. I'm just going to say it to thousands of people. What, are you like a, a staple shareholder? Like, I'm not trying to cause the downfall of the company. I'm just saying, like, I hate myself when I'm inside of the store. I, if you're the staple CEO, you shouldn't be watching Twitch right now. Maybe that's how you got yourself into this damn mess. I understand the, the, the defensiveness of, of, uh, of staples. It's a corporation that likely doesn't care whether you live or die. As long as you're constantly suckling on the teeth of buying more printer ink. Thoughts on Happy Gilmore? I think Happy Gilmore is so good that they should remake it. I think Josh Gad should play Happy Gilmore, and then uh, Pharrell Williams can do the soundtrack. He can re-release his magnum opus, Happy, but just change some of the words. Cla Cause I'm happy, cla golf along if you feel like a grandma without a house. Cause I'm happy, golf along if you feel Shooter McGavin is a mouse. Golf along if you think that Chubbs is a cool guy. Cause I'm happy. No, not so much. Okay, getting a lot of, getting a lot of minus twos on this one. Getting a lot of minus twos. I think that would be good. Would love to know your thoughts on this. Hey, I got an idea for Hollywood. Instead of like remaking good movies and making the remakes bad, why don't you remake bad movies and make the remakes good? Like, you know, when you eat at a restaurant and the server comes by and asks how something is, you don't go, oh, this is like one of the best meals I've ever had. Can you take it back into the kitchen and remake it? The only time you ask for a remake is when you're like, this is one of the worst things I've ever tasted in my life. Can you go back and give me something different? So like, I feel like you should take a nod from the culinary world and maybe start remaking things that weren't done right in the first place and instead making them better the second time. So we need a remake of, of Max Payne. Yes, Max Payne starring um, Mark Wahlberg, Mila Kunis, and Olga Kirilenko is, is begging for a remake. It's one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's run it back. I think Max Payne should be played by Johnny Knoxville, 
and it should be shot in the style of like a hardcore Henry instead of being like a weird uh, melodrama. It should be just like non-stop slow-mo, like jumping out of hallways and, and lighting up rooms full of enemies. And yeah, it's played by Johnny Knoxville, but voiced by Chris Pratt. Abs sorry, I forgot about that part. And the bad guy can be played by Jack Black, and it could be animated by Illumination Studios. That's a recipe for a 10 out of 10 on IMDb. You're absolutely right. Would you play Among Us with Elon Musk? Honestly, I don't know at this point in my life. This is not a knock on Among Us, okay? It's just not my tempo. I don't know, even if you were like, we're gonna bring Marcus Aurelius back from the dead to play Among Us with you, I would be like, is there any chance he would play something else? I would love to just shoot the breeze with Marcus Aurelius and I, you know, ask him how he feels about something. I guarantee every answer is gonna be come see, come sa, and that's fine, but, uh, I just, I'm just not, I can't do the Among Us, man. I'm sorry, I can't. I just, it's just, it's a game built for not me. And that's okay. Yeah, I, I'll teach Marcus Aurelius how to do a backwards long jump. Sure, I, I'd even, I'd reinstall Rumbleverse if they added Marcus Aurelius into the game. They don't even have to bring him back from the dead if they just added Marcus Aurelius to the game. Sorry, we can't put Marcus Aurelius in Fortnite or in uh, Rumbleverse, but we're announcing that the five good emperors are coming to Fortnite. Bro, Fortnite gives all the good stuff. That's crazy. They're putting Augustus and Tiberius and uh, all the other ones. I forget who the other good ones are. It definitely goes Augustus, Tiberius, Diocletian, Caesar. Excuse me, you piece. Caesar was not an emperor. He was a, I mean, he had, he declared himself dictator for life, but he was not part of Imperial Rome. Augustus is not one of the five good emperors. That's, that's oh, maybe, okay, listen, that's bullshit. Maybe he's not one of the five good, so-called good emperors, according to the, the history books, but he's one of the five best emperors, right? If, can, can somebody, you know, the same way they do like presidential history ranks? There's got to be like a rank of the best uh, Roman emperors, right? And I'm, I'm feeling like Augustus has got to be, he's got to be in the top three. He's like the George Washington of, of Rome. <laughs> in many ways, would love to know what your thoughts are on this. Uh, what am I doing? No, not Augustus Gloop from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. He's absolutely not. Bro, people love Augustus. He started the Pax Romana. Remember the night that I told you you'll never be a good writer because you don't have a curious mind? There's no way Augustus isn't up there. Claudius, top five in my book. Yeah, Claudius with a chance of meatballs, maybe. I'm so mad that that's going to give me like the most plus twos I've had today. Yep, here they come. I know that movie. I know that movie. So true. The word sounds like the word. Drives me crazy. Meanwhile, I'm making dozens of on par or even better jokes and everyone ices me. Take some goo. Take some goo. There you go. Get gooed on. Bro, you're, you're breaking your cover, dude. You're breaking your cover. My guy? My guy? Golden slumbers fill your eyes. Who were those garbage players? What are you talking? That was an insane victory. Squandered. He squandered it. He's insane with it. Stay on him. Oh, he had one. He had one. Oh, nice try. That was a good try. It was a nice try. I mean, that, it doesn't get any closer than that. You got to put some respect on that. Your flies open. Wrong, bitch. <laughs> you made me look. Joke's on you, I got to look at my dick. You should open up Chib's stream and pretend to be him. Honestly, like when, between two and five, Twitch becomes pure anus for me. And I, it's not Twitch's fault. But like, I think because my wife is streaming, 
I can't watch videos on the website for some reason. Or maybe like I'm running out of RAM or something like that. So that's why I've been getting those Isaac episodes done because I got nothing else to do. Bespoke chess episodes, unlikely. Unlikely. I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> like on earth, I've, I hope I got a lot. Right now, I don't have a lot of time. Bespoke Brotato. So can I tell you, I actually recorded a Bespoke Brotato video. And then I forgot to post it for like three days. And then I lost all self-confidence that it would actually be like a good video. So I just deleted it. I, literally, I looked at it in my, in my videos folder and said, it's not even worth making a thumbnail for this. I'm not even doing the extra five minutes of work. I'm just throwing the 30 minutes in the garbage can. It's not worth posting it and then having people go like, when's the next Brotato episode? And I got a reply like never, like 150 times a day. I looked at it like, uh, you know, sometimes you'll go to a restaurant and they'll be like, we got some shit on the test kitchen menu. You may never see the hickory smoked applewood cheddar chicken salad ever again. I hate when I go to a restaurant, they have a test kitchen menu and then the stuff on the test kitchen menu is like a, like a baked cod or something like that. You, you should be doing crazier experiments. Can you bring out some bolder flavors? Hey, uh, welcome to the Cactus Club. We got great uh, test kitchen menus for you right now. Oh, really? That sounds nice. I'd love to try something new. What is it? Oh, it's um, a maple syrup and mustard glazed salmon with wild rice on the side. Okay. Then in that case, I'm getting the California chicken sandwich with fries, please. If we're dining in, maybe the sweet potato fries, but the... The, I'm not getting a sweet potato fries delivery because by the time they arrived, they got all soggy, okay? Give me something a little, a little out of the pocket. I will have the gabagool. If the gabagool is not on the side, I send it back. That's when you use the air fryer. World's smartest man just dropped. Hmm, I'm too lazy to cook. Let me uh, buy some delivery that I'll cook when it gets here. That shit is going into, the, into my stomach, whatever form it arrived in. I'm, I'm performing, I'm not one of those crazy people you see on r slash subway that's like, I take my sandwich home and then put something else on it. I, I, I just put some peanut butter on it uh, after I get home. I'm eating that shit the way it came. I'm either cooking or I'm, I'm ordering. There's the, that we do not, those stay completely separate halves of the Venn diagram, okay? If I'm gonna order food and then cook it at home, I should have just got groceries. Are you gonna play Gotham Knights? Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh whoop. Tell me more, tell me more. Are you in Arkham yet? Tell me more, tell me more. Is the Riddler a threat? Ah uh ha, -huh, ah uh ha, -huh, ah, uh -huh. and oh, those got them now.